to somebody, just go ahead and give God a hand clap of praise this morning. Go ahead and begin to worship him this morning. Begin to tell the Lord how good he is. Begin to tell the Lord how kind he is, how merciful he is. Begin to just get in the atmosphere of praise. Begin to get your mind in the atmosphere of worship this morning. Begin to put all other things aside and just tell the Lord, we thank you this morning, God. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your long suffering. God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you, God, because if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we don't know where we would be this morning, God. We thank you, God, that we have come into this house gathered to worship you this morning, God. Uh, we thank you, God, that we will enter your gates, God, with thanksgiving in our hearts, and we come to enter your courts with praise, God. We will be grateful unto you, God, and bless your holy name. Uh, we were glad when they said unto us, uh, let us go into the house of the Lord, uh, for in your presence is peace. In your presence is joy. In your presence is love. God, we love you this morning. And we thank you, God. We honor you, God, for who you are. We honor you, God, because, God, you are God all by yourself. You don't need anything else. You don't even need God nothing God but we know that our worship God uh, will shift the atmosphere uh, through our praise uh, through our worship through our thanksgiving uh, through our hands being raised uh, through our mouths being open uh, we you have given us uh, the authority uh, to shift the atmosphere uh, so on God this morning God uh, we come to you and we say God uh, we will praise you uh, we will lift you up uh, we will honor you uh, we will give you thanks God uh, because because you have gotten us through another week. You, God, have been so good to us. Better than we can be to ourselves, God. We will not look on the natural. We will not look at, God, what is. But, God, we will look into the spirit realm and say, we will say, God, thank you for what is to come. We will say, thank you, God. God, we love you. I dare somebody to open their mouth this morning. Begin to open your mouth this morning. Begin to open your mouth this morning. Begin to tell the Lord, thank you. Begin to tell the Lord, we worship you. Begin to tell the Lord how good he is. He said, oh, how good it is for brethren to dwell together. God, I dare you to put your hands together this morning. I dare you to put your hands together. I dare you to open your mouth this morning. I dare you to begin to tell the Lord, you are a great God and you do great and mighty things there is no one like you there is no one like you no one that can touch our hearts no one that can do the things that you do no one that can pierce our hearts no one God we love you today we honor you God we honor you God we honor you God with our hands lifted up and our mouths filled with praise with the heart of thanksgiving we will worship your name with the heart of thanksgiving we will love on you Lord with the heart of thanksgiving we will give you praise you are our refuge you are our strength you are our joy you are everything you are everything you are everything you are everything Everything. You are everything. You are everything. You are my redeemer. You are my strong tower. You are. We love you this morning. God, we thank you for those who are here this morning. Those who came to worship. Those who came to worship collaboratively this morning. We thank you, God, for those who are on their way, God. God, we thank you for those who are viewing, God. We ask you, God, that you lift them up to newer heights. Lift us up this morning to newer heights. Let us lift you up. You said if you be lifted up, you will draw all men unto you. So we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we worship your holy name. We worship your holy name. For you are a great God. Oh, somebody come and magnify the Lord with us this morning. Somebody come magnify the Lord. Somebody magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord and exalt his name. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. Lift him up. He is high and lifted up. He is high and lifted up. There is no one like him. No one like him. No one like him. No one like you, God. There is no one like you, God. There is no one like you.
like you, God. No one like you, God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised this morning. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. We love you this morning, God. And we cannot live without you. There's no way that I can make it without you. No way I can make it without you. No way I can make it without you. No way I can make it without you. All on one accord. All on one accord. Lift your voice and say amen. Amen. Say it is so. It is so. It is so. Give God a shout of praise. Give God a shout of praise. For he is worthy. There is no one like him. We serve a great father. Somebody say, we serve a good, good father. We serve a good, good he father. He is perfect in all of his ways. Perfect we serve a good, good father. Way. We serve a good, good father. We serve a good, good father. He's a good, good yeah. father. He's perfect. Give God one more shout of praise. Hallelujah. How many of you know? How many of you know that you serve an intentional God? How many of you know you serve an intentional God? He is never failing. He can't fail. He is incapable of failing. I'm telling you, if you step out of the realm of where you are going through and what it looks like and step into the realm of what God has for you, I'm telling you, you'll see yourself in a whole new dimension. You will see yourself in a whole new dimension. If you become the encourager, as Sister Lenora was speaking on this morning, and you begin to encourage others as you encourage yourself God will lift you up and you will see in everything that he is to be glorified somebody give God a hand clap of praise this morning tell him all things say all things all things y'all don't believe that say it with a smile say all things all things are working for my good Say, they're working for my good. Say, they're working for my good. 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 Don't worry, they're working for my good. It's already done. It's already worked out. Give God some intentional praise. If he's an intentional God, an intentional God deserves an intentional praise. Working for my good.
intentional. He's intentional. Never, never fail. Never fail. All things are working for my good. He's intentional. He's intentional. Never, never fail. Never fail. All things are working for my good. 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 Working for my good. All things are working for my good. All things are working for my good. Because he's intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. He's a white man. 
situation you ought to be intentional this morning about how you give God praise you ought to be intentional about opening your mouth this morning you ought to be intentional this morning about telling God thank you you ought to be intentional this morning about putting your hands in the air you ought to be intentional somebody say I'm being intentional say I'm intentional this morning I'm intentional this morning. I'm intentional this morning. I'm intentional this. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say, I ain't got a reason to praise him. Let me give you one. He woke you up this morning and he started you on your way. That's enough to give God some praise. If you got breath in your body this morning, if you got breath in your body, you ought to be able to give God some praise. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give God some praise this morning. If he woke you up, if he woke you up, if you are able to lift your hands, you ought to give God some praise. If you are able to give God some worship, you ought to give. your name Jesus we bless your name Jesus y'all don't even have to go there you don't you don't because the God that I serve if you if he's blessing you the way he's blessing me and I'm not talking about material if you still got breath in your body this morning, nobody should have to tell you to lift your head. If you're able to lift them, you ought to lift them just because the Bible says, let everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Good God. He's a mighty good God. Hey, we serve a good God. 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 Somebody say he didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to save me, but he did. Hallelujah. This morning, we love you this morning, and we thank you, God. Give God a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Y'all stop and just give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Worship him this morning. Worship him this morning. Worship him this morning because he's a great God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to just get in the habit of thanking God. Somebody just needs to get in the habit of thanking God. Somebody just needs to get in the habit of telling the Lord, thank you for being God. I believe that on this side of heaven, we've gotten so caught up in telling God, thank you, when he gives us something material or when we feel like everything is going okay. He didn't say in the word, for everything give thanks. See, if you learn the difference, because see, some people get mixed up in saying for everything. He didn't say for everything. He said in everything. In everything, give thanks. See, when you notice the difference, that means in your poverty, give him thanks. In your richness, give him thanks. In the situation you're in, in the job you don't like, give him thanks. In the job that you love, give him thanks. Because when you begin to practice to give God thanks, thanks in everything, you begin to have a thankful heart. And a thankful heart is what God loves. When you have a thankful heart, it doesn't matter how your body is feeling. When you have a thankful heart, it doesn't matter what the situation looks like. When you have a thankful heart, it doesn't matter what the bank account looks like. When you have a thankful heart, it doesn't matter what the marriage looks like. It doesn't matter what the children looks like. Because you begin to look I love when Sister Lador read that scripture this morning, but I love, I don't see, people don't always put that question on it. He said, look to the hills, which come, which cometh my help? Where does my help come from? Somebody say, my help cometh from the Lord. My help cometh from the Lord. My help cometh from the Lord. And when I know that my help come from the Lord, I can thank him just for being God. I can thank him just for being God. There's no stipulations on thanking him for being God. This song don't say thank you for my health, thank you for my strength. He said thank you for being God. This is what he said. You're too big for error. You're too wise for mistake. You are a mighty God, perfect in all your ways. You are here before my first breath, and you'll be here when nothing else is left. You are a mighty God, forever and always. Oh, the in spite of my flaws, you hold me close. In the midst of it all, a present help. When I am in need, I'm grateful that you won't give up on me. Because you love, you love me. When no one else would, no one else you would. kept me. You kept me. When no one else could, when no one else could. thank you for being thank you for being God. Thank you for being God. Thank you for being Say God. thank you for being thank you for being God. Thank you. Listen, thank you. say you're too big. Tell them that wherever you're too wise, you're too wise for mistake. For mistake. You are a mighty. You are a mighty. He's perfect God. in all his ways. Perfect in all your ways. Oh. 
Give God a shout of praise. Stay right there. Sometimes God has to remind you. He has to remind you. We're going to move, but I want you to understand something. We practice this because when we get in the battlefield, that's not the time to practice. When you get in the situation, it's the time to be prepared. On last weekend, last weekend, it was a funny instance. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny to me then. My husband was out of town. And the night before I had talked to him, I hadn't even talked to him once he landed. We were texting back and forth. And the last thing he had texted me was about going to, to the uh, Walgreens to get some meds because he didn't feel good when he got off the plane. So that was the last thing I heard. And I text something back to him. And it's not like him not to call me before he goes to sleep, whatever. But I think he, the medicine, whatever, was drowsy. So the next morning I woke up getting ready for Sister Leona's funeral. And I still hadn't heard from him about eight, nine o'clock. He was an hour behind me. And I called him once. He didn't answer. I said, okay, he's asleep. I kept calling and I kept calling and he wasn't answering. And the first thing the devil tried to play on my mind is, one, the phone was ringing so I knew it was charged. So he'll try to tell you some stuff. And it wasn't negative about, it was more about his health. And as worry began to creep over me, the next thing it was, call your mama, call your sister. And God began to say to me, you know what? These people are getting ready for all this stuff going on. And I know if you call this one, she finna start trying to call every hotel in Denver, Colorado. She don't care where it is, she gonna go down the list. So he's like, don't call there. But you know what he told me to do? I was right there in my room. My son was there and everything. I started to say to him, but I was starting to say, have you talked to your dad? But he was like, why are you going to worry other people? He said, you got your knees and you have your father. And Junior, I tell you, I got on my knees right in that bedroom and I began to cry out. I said, God, I don't know what it is and whatever your will is right now. For somebody to say that out of their mouth, I said, God, whatever your will is, I accept your will. But God, I'm thanking you and I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you because you told me you are good, good father and you are perfect in all of your ways. So I begin right there in my room. He said, what? What do you do on that stage? You practice. It's time to put your practice into the war, into the battlefield. And I begin to lift. You said, why am I saying this to you? It's not to tell you my business, but it's to say this. When I get up here and I say these things, I didn't know what had happened. I still didn't hear from him from about another hour later. I was on my way here. And I began to just say, thank you, Lord. Whatever your will, God, whatever your will, let your will be done. Let your will be done. And I begin to say, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. That's why I'm telling you to open your mouth and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because you don't know when it's going to be you. You don't know when it's going to be your family. So say, thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Through all of your grief. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, One more time. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Oh, I thank you. In every
everything, God, I will give you thanks. In every situation, God, in the good and the bad, I will look to my help. 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 Oh, Lord, I know my help, it comes from you. I know my help comes from you. Everybody, one more time, say thank you for being God. Say thank you for being God. Thank you for being God. Right in the situation that I am in, thank you for being God. Just one more time, everybody shout all over this building and give God praise. Give God praise. Whatever your health is, whatever your situation is, give God praise. Give God thanks. Say, I thank you, God. Say, I thank you, God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Yes, I do. One more shout of praise. We're going to sit down, but as we sit, we're going to sing this last song. And somebody say this, I want you to sing this with me. I want us to just, I'm serious, bombard heaven with this. Say, my hallelujah belongs to you this morning. Tell them you deserve it. Say, you deserve it. You deserve it. belongs to you my hallelujah belongs to you my hallelujah belongs to you how many of you know that it is this morning my hallelujah belongs to You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Will you sing that with me? Say, my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Everybody say that. Say, my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Say my hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. Yes, it do, Rayleigh. Sing it. Say, my hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. Now tell the Lord, say you deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, it does. Say you deserve it. You deserve it. Say you deserve it. You deserve it. Say you
Say you deserve it. Say you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Tell him again. <laughs> you deserve. Yes, you do, Lord. <laughs> you deserve it. Tell him again. Say you deserve it. You deserve. You deserve. You deserve. Yay! Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. I'm my own.
Well, praise God. Hallelujah. So we, we praise God this morning for all that he's doing and all that he's go already done. Uh, I praise God for the gift things of God. I, I, I praise God for all the gifts, the, the singers, the uh, musicians, Praise God for every gift. Thank God for all of your gifts. Amen. Thank God for our audio people and amen, visual people, all of those gift things that uh, causes us to be encouraged and causes us, hallelujah, to, to worship God and praise God and, and, and give him the honor that's due his name. And I, I appreciate that so very much. God is up to something and I just praise God that I'm trying my very best to stay in tune with him. Amen. I'm praying for uh, Israel right now. Praying, amen, for, for the peace of Israel. That's, I, uh, that's very important, thanks to God, that, amen, that as the focus is on Israel right now, amen, I think the saints of God should make sure that they recognize that our focus should be in that area also, so so Israel go, so rest of the our nation, so rest of the world go, Amen. So we want to thank God. Come on, ushers, come on, ushers. Uh, we need our ushers to come, and you that's uh, in our uh, Facebook audience. Uh, there's uh, three ways that you, four ways that you can give. You can give in person. If you're here, amen, you can come up, and these uh, people that's up here giving a uh, standing here, they would take your offering. You can also text, and you can also give uh, through the uh, website, hopchurchokc.com, and also uh, you can scan the barcode there, and uh, it will allow you to go to our uh, uh, website and, and online giving, and you can give online. And but in person, you can come right now and give in person. Thank you so very much for your generosity. Thank you for your uh, liberal giving and your cheerful giving. Uh, we, show we surely appreciate, amen, how God uh, is using you, amen, as a vehicle uh, to help us to do the things that God has called us to do here at the House of Prayer. We definitely thank God for you. I'm going to pray. For you, amen, that's given uh, through text. I'm going to pray for you that's given, amen, through our uh, website. And also to you that is given uh, through uh, using the barcode. Amen. Um, Father, I thank you for those, amen, that has uh, given their tithes. And Lord, you said those that would give 10% of their increase to you, that you would open up the windows of heaven and you would pour them out blessings that they won't have room enough to receive. You also said that you rebuke the devourer for their sake. And God, you're going to say that the seed that they are planting, it will not yield itself before the time, but the intended purpose in which they planted the seed, it shall bring forth the full harvest. And we thank you for that, and we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you uh, all for giving. Well, well, God is good, and all the time and all the time God is good and uh, he, he's always up to something big and I just appreciate uh, that he's allowing me to be a part of what he's doing in the earth right now and I tell you it's a good th time to be a part of the kingdom of God uh, but I think it's very important that we are uh, focusing in on what God is doing and I know for a fact that that God is uh, needing his church to be in a place where it can be effective. Amen. I, I believe like never before, God is wanting the church to be effective in any time, in, in any situation, because that's what he was wanting from Israel. He wanted Israel uh, to be a light to the rest of the world. Uh, and, and so that they would come to know this good God and wonderful God that we know. And we know that he's a great God. He's a wonderful God. And somebody got to shed the light on him. 
And I, I just ask God to forgive me and us as a church if we have not uh, given the right uh, perspective of who God is and that our light has not shined uh, the way it need to shine. And instead of us uh, growing people, uh, I sense so many people are criticizing the church and so many people are leaving the church and so many people are just tired of the uh, nonsense that we call church. Amen. But uh, I think that what we have to do, we got to get the uh, help to change our mindset of what church is. Because uh, for so many times, we think that, uh, and I talked about this over and over again, that every time we say we're getting ready to go to church, we're saying that we're going to a building. And, and, and so we labor uh, this church here, uh, this building as the church. But I've been emphasizing to each of you that uh, the church is not this building. The church only becomes this this. Uh, a church is when the church show up here. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible said that we are the church. We are uh, uh, the temple of God and the Holy Ghost dwells in us. Amen. Once we leave out of this place, the presence of God is here in his uh, omnipresence. But actually, glory to God, the, the, the spirit of God in which uh, uh, manifests itself is no longer in here because he manifests himself through us. Hallelujah. So therefore, we got to change our mindset is that we gathered, the church gathered here at 1737 Abram Ross today. Amen. But you have to recognize you was a church in your house. Amen. amen. You was a church, amen, in your car. You was the church because what? You are the temple of God. And the Holy Ghost dwells in you. And then I go and went on to tell you that uh, not only are the t Spirit of God dwells in you, but the Bible said that when the Holy Ghost came upon you, you received power. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, you uh, are not just anybody now. I know that we're into the superhero things, but I want to tell you, praise God, when you, you are full of the Holy Ghost, you, uh, you got superpowers. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Ghost, amen, is no joke. Amen. Because the Bible said when, you when the Holy Ghost came upon them, they received power. And they became witnesses for God. Amen. They had the ability at that point to do some things that they weren't ordinarily capable of doing because they was full of the Holy Ghost. And the only reason, glory to God, and, and, and I want to emphasize to you, the, the, uh, I thank God for y'all showing up here because I think this is a good deal that we show up here and we gather here and we collect our finances and, and together with our finances. And when we come together like this, we're able to do much more as a group than we are by ourselves. Praise God. We collect our money and when people come to say that they need help, amen, I, 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 it's easier, amen, for me to give $10 than it is for me to give $100. Amen. But if every one of 10 of us give $10, it's easier. So when we gather like this, it helps us, amen, to do what? To be able to do more for each other and to help each other. Amen. But the key is, is that we're gathering for a reason. We're gathering, amen, because we're coming here. The church is coming here so that we can do what? Are we fellowshipping like God told us to do? Hallelujah. We're breaking bread together. Well, not in a long time. But we're supposed to break bread together. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, and we're supposed to study the word together. Hallelujah. And, 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 and we're supposed to not only study the word, we're supposed to praise God together. Amen. That's why, amen, we got these instruments here because they are stimulus to help us. Amen. Get into the, amen, enjoy. Hallelujah. Just like. Amen. When the world got their music, music just helped you enjoy more. Amen. So don't knock music. Music is good. Music is a good thing. Singers are a good thing. Hallelujah. But it ain't the thing. They are stimulus, amen, to, amen, so that we can celebrate the wonderful Lord and Savior. We're supposed to be celebrating him. 
Hallelujah. And the better the music is, amen, glory to God, the more I can celebrate. Ah, oh, y'all about something that about y'all ain't telling me nothing, Brad. Amen. When he started hitting them keys and doing them keys and them drums hit right, it makes you want them. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you're supposed to keep it holy. Because I'm the I, no, 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 but, uh, cause I'm the temple of God. Hallelujah. I'm the Amen. I'm a holy temple. Amen. I'm sacrificed. Amen. I Amen. I dance, but I got to watch. Amen. How I dance. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, we, so we, we're not like the world. Somebody said, bless the Lord. So we come here, man, we, we dance and we shout, and then we study the word together. Hallelujah. And we leave here, and once this church leave here, we are better equipped to go out and to work the ministry. Amen. What, 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 how do we work the ministry? We work the ministry in our homes. Amen. Amen. You don't need to work a lot of ministry here. Now, I love that, but ain't, it ain't so much ushering you can do. Hallelujah. Ain't so, that's why we, amen, have so much competitiveness in, in, the, in, in this building here because everybody trying to do church in this building. Amen. We can't all do church in this building. There are a lot of church need to be done outside of these buildings. Hallelujah. In your houses with your children. In the school, that's where the power need to be. Oh, y'all ain't here. Hallelujah. Everybody come in here, glory to God. Everybody ain't got that gift. You can't, hey, I don't want you on that organ you can't play. And then, hallelujah. I don't want you playing the ground, praise God. Don't get mad with their gifts, amen. They, there was, there was uh, Levitical, uh, Levite gifts that operated inside the temple. So we appreciate when the singers come and they can sing. Don't y'all like good singers? For oh, a good God might I, I do. I can make a joyful noise. But y'all know y'all like somebody that can hold a tune. And that's a part of it. Somebody said that's a part of it. We ought to, amen, and we ought to appreciate each other's gift and not envy one another's gift. Amen. If you can't sing, don't come up. Unless, amen, we really need you. And, amen, now, if ain't nobody else can sing, God will accept your singing. Huh? Amen. God will accept the amen, glory to God, because I know that, because I don't know whether Paul and Silas could sing. But, amen, they got inside the jail, and they was in trouble. Hallelujah. And the Bible said they lift up their hands and start singing song, and other words, they must have sang so good that the chains fell off. Hi, y'all, my son. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and they didn't have no drums. And they didn't have no keyboard. And they didn't have no singer. They, that's what I love about the church. Ain't it wonderful that you can get and you can have church right in your house? <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. You can do like Paul and Silas. Glory to God. Amen. You can begin to raise your hand. You begin to praise God. And if there's some chains on you, the chains will fall off you. And not only will it fall off you, they say it fell off everybody around them. Amen. Glory to God. And a lot of times, you trying to bring your problems here in this building and try to get the chains fall off. You need to get them chains broken in your own house. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blaming this building. Amen. Glory to God. I ain't going to that building. I ain't going to church no more. How can you not go to yourself? Hallelujah. It's the mentality of how we think. I ain't going to church no more. You tell us, hey amen, use the right terminology. I'm not going to fellowship anymore. Huh? Because you are the church. You are the temple of God. The Holy Spirit dwells in who? In you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I, I, I emphasize to that, man, I, and I tell this over and over again, man, y'all will get on me big time. Y'all will get on me big time if I let anything go on in this building. You know, Pastor uh, got the folks in the church twerking. No. But I can go to your house and everybody twerking. <laughs> huh? I'm like, OK, 
okay, what? Hey, man, you the temple of God. You the one they supposed to respect. They ain't stunned this house if I, I They had me bamboozle, glory to God, when I was coming up. When I walked by a church, man, we, we would be cussing. Yop, chop, blah, blah. And we'll get walk by the church. Everybody says, shh, be quiet. We get ready to go by this church. And we'll get by the church. And we'll go back to our regular sales. Ain't y'all tired of that? Huh? That, hey, amen. We come into this place. And then, glory to God, the church come into this place. And then we leave here, we go back to our regular cell. We don't get past this building. Y'all know about Sunday. And, and you're wondering, amen, why, amen, there is no power, amen, where people need the power. People don't need, amen, the power. We, we made it. Bring them to this building, amen, and then all this power going to conglomerate together. And we get, so we got this mentality, if I can just get them to this building. But some people, might, the God got it so now that a person might not never come to this building. But you can take the church to them. Huh? They might not never come to this building. Amen. Yeah, I just want them to come to church. Well, amen. You, you ought to say, I just want you to come to this bigger gathering. But you ought to tell them, baby, we're going to have church here right now. You need prayer? You need prayer, prayer, amen, just don't take place in 1737 Abram House. Prayer take place right here in our house because I am the war, the church. And you have received what? Power. When the Holy Ghost came upon you, you was given the power to be a witness. You was given the ability, amen, to change things around you. The Bible said you are a peculiar people. You're a holy nation. And you was born, amen, to do what? Show forth the praises of God. We well, are, amen, glory to God. Amen, I ain't going up there, glory to God. That pastor ain't quite right. How do you, he got the only thing he is, he's holding an office. But, amen, the same thing that give him the ability to hold that office is the same thing, amen, that's registered in you. And that's what? The Holy Ghost and being full of the Spirit. You have the ability, amen, to exercise the rights, amen, of holy things, amen, in the perimeter that God has given you. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Well, <laughs> I love it, though. But I can keep y'all coming to me. That boosted my ego. Huh? Amen. When you don't realize glory to God, you ain't, amen, listen. Amen. Don't stop bringing your tithes here because, but uh, you ain't bringing your tithes here for me. These tithes are supposed to be going to storehouse, amen, so that together we can do more, amen, together than we could do by ourselves. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. There are some things that have come up in our ER teams and, I mean, people want it three, six, seven hundred dollars. I'm like, I ain't got that money. But because we got, have come together, amen, glory to God, and we put our money in a pocket, when somebody come and wants six, seven hundred dollars, all of us together can do what? Amen, I got ten. And we can look at, amen, that which we collected, and we can meet some needs. Huh? Thank you, Lord. That's why, glory to God, I, I, I don't try to reinvent the wheels, but I try to find places where God is working and join them. There are some people that are already doing, amen, uh, let's get a, 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 now ain't that wrong, amen, with having a, a, a food ministry, but there are some people, amen, that's already got that locked down. And, and, and still of me want my name on it, and well, the House of Prayer gave away 20 baskets. And, and man, and it's, it, <laughs> I just think, I'm like, it was hard to go and find the right people to give it to. Right. Amen. But there's people, people that already got clientele, already got connections, that's doing that kind of stuff that if we as the church would donate and give in areas like that, amen, we would become more effective. Yes, they already, hallelujah, y'all, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, this ain't about us. This ain't a, this about him. It's about kingdom work. 
Hallelujah. And this Holy Ghost in us, praise God, and hallelujah, you're supposed to, amen, go out and do what? Be a witness for God. Am I preaching all right? I know I got to change the mindset. I told the Lord, amen, amen, I ain't dealing with no more foolishness. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I told another preacher, come up here, glory to God, and start telling my people, amen, I'm gonna, if you come up here and give a $1,000, you're going to get something. I'm going to tell you to sit down because God ain't saying that. Amen. I'm tired of foolishness. And God's people listen for foolishness and get mad because, amen, they're listening, amen, to false prophecy, and God ain't honoring it. Huh? Amen. Glory to God. Ain't God going to take care of your need. Amen. Glory to God. Ain't no preacher got to tell me, glory to God, if I get $10, I'm going to get 20 back. That's gambling. God is not a gambler. But we love it to hear so, glory to God, because, amen, we don't want to go through the process to get the real blessing. Hey man, God done told you how to get blessed financially. So give your tithe. Give offering. Hallelujah. He said, press down, shake it together. It going to come back to you. Ain't nobody going to have to call. Ain't that important? That, amen, glory to God, if you give me a thousand, you're going to get three thousand back. Hallelujah. Foolishness. And we done got played into it to the point that a lot of people look at us as a joke. Huh? Amen. They done came up and gave their uh, uh, rent money. Amen. Glory to God. And, 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 and didn't no money show up by Friday. Amen. We, we tell somebody, uh, what about the church? What about the church? What about what do the church really supposed to be doing? Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 there's nothing wrong, but like, I, I don't have nothing to do, amen, with big gatherings. Amen. A big gathering, but if the, we're gathering just for the sake of gathering, why gather? Come on now. How y'all about shun? Got to have the right kind of music. Amen, the, 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 the backdrop, amen, glory to God, just got to be right. Make sure it's dark back there so you can get the right effect. What kind of effect are you trying to get? I thought you were trying to, I thought you were trying to get the Holy Ghost. What you watching the lights and, and all the, the backdrops for? You ought to be looking unto Jesus. He's the author and the finish of your faith. Huh? Now, I ain't got, no, no, no. that's worldly stuff. Tell us about it. that's worldly stuff. That's, hey, man, the world don't have no Holy Ghost, so they got to have some plots. They got to have, hey, amen, glory to God. We don't need no plots. Hallelujah. Jesus is the problem. Huh? Hallelujah. We got to have all these props. Something must be missing. Amen. Glory to God. Paul preached all night. Amen. He preached all night. And the man got sleepy. He fell out the door and, and, broke his, and, and, and broke his neck. Paul went down and said, raise him up. Laid his hands on the man, got back up, and Paul started preaching again. All night. I know no more, son, no, no, no more. This old stuff, hey man, well, man, you can't hold nobody's attention but 15 minutes. The Holy, the Holy Ghost can hold your attention all night. <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. You, amen. Glory to God. When the Holy Ghost started moving, good God Almighty, amen, I, I lay right there in his presence for 30 minutes. That man-made stuff. Oh, you know, man, we, you better be in and out by an hour. Amen, dog. If you ain't in and out by the hour, amen, you ain't, you done lost the people. No, you done lost the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come on and lift your hands and praise God. It is time for somebody and God's people to get away from the foolishness and begin to do what? Worship and praise God. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. I mean, some, tell somebody, somebody better say something. My little lover, somebody got to say something. Hey, and, and, and let me get into my... I, I was talking about last week, the, the church of Ephes, Ephesus. The church of Ephesus had lost their first love. The church of Ephesus was busy, but their efforts were not directed by the Spirit, nor in keeping with Christ's will. In that sense, they had left their first love of serving Christ. In other words, we began to serve men and things more than we serve Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I don't mind you working in the church, but working in this building is not your prime primary thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, uh, if, if I can get you to serve Christ, you ain't going to have no problem giving you serving, amen, and, and doing the other thing. But when you, amen, ain't full of Christ, and I'm trying to get you served, all kind of envy and strife, and all kind of mess going to come up. You get a people, amen, ain't full of the Holy Ghost, back there trying to serve, amen, everybody looking at each other, so-and-so ain't doing nothing. Why so-and-so and so-and-so and, so and packing off all the boxes? You see so-and-so and so-and-so sitting over there, amen, she's, amen. You, you can't get in that. You ain't full of the Lord, amen. You got a bunch of mess by that bed. By the time you leave there, nobody say, ain't coming back no more. You know, amen. <laughs> huh. You got to be full of the Holy Ghost to get back there, amen, and serve like you're supposed to serve. Amen, glory to God. Coming, Amen, people coming through with attitude. Amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, like they own the place. And you still got to look at them and say, praise the Lord. You can't be full of the Holy Ghost to love people, man. God. People, amen, glory to God. Everybody, amen, that comes through the line, even church folks ain't on their best behavior. <laughs> and that's why a lot of us don't even want to come to fellowship no more. I ain't coming there doing all that serving. Every time I turn around, I'm the last one there. Amen. I had to clean up. I had to do that. Well, go home. If you're going to complain about all that, you don't even be there. Hallelujah. Because praise God. Hallelujah. Either you love it or either you don't. Somebody say, bless the Lord. And the more you complain about it, you're just messing up your blessing. I'm preaching better than y'all say amen. If you're going to complain about, amen, what you got done, done, you might as well have not done it. Glory to God, because what? God ain't getting no glory out of it. Oh, I'm preaching. Hallelujah. You wonder, amen, glory to what the church, the church supposed to be, amen. The Bible said they was busy, but they was too, so busy doing stuff that they had lost their what? Amen, that's Christ-centeredness. It was all about Jesus. We're doing this, amen, so Jesus can be lifted up. We ain't doing this so Pastor Knight and, and Barbara can be lifted up. Jesus needs to be lifted up. Hallelujah. Nobody, amen, ain't doing this, amen, so, amen, glory to God. Somebody said, look what, amen, sister, uh, but Paquette, hey, Paquette, hey, we, we, amen, Paquette ain't even in the, she shouldn't be a player in this. It's about the Lord. Tell somebody, it's about the Lord. They was busy, but they was busy, amen, trying to get a better position. Amen. They said that's why, amen, they, one of the reasons guy, the one gentleman gave the analogy, that, that was the reason, amen, that Ananias and Sapphire, amen, got, uh, uh, it won't so much glory to God that, that it was that they lied to the Holy Ghost, but the way they went about doing it. Amen. What they had heard, they had heard that somebody had gave a bigger offering than they had given. And everybody, glory to God, was glorifying Barnabas because Barnabas came and gave everything. Amen. So what they decided to do, praise God, they were going to say, amen, whoo, Barnabas, because evidently, see, sometimes when you're a big giver, a big, amen, doing something, and somebody else come do something better than you, amen, all of a sudden you want to, and they said what happened, uh, Ananias and, and Sapphire, amen, saying, well, Barnabas gave, look how everybody praising Barnabas and, 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 and amen, and we was, the big, we was the big dog first. 
Huh? We were the big dog first if old Barnabas came up and messed us up. Amen. Now he's the one everybody talking about. Y'all hear what Barnabas did? Huh? Barnabas, amen, sold all of his property and gave it, amen, to the church. And so they said, let's, what we're going to do, we're going to sell our property and we're going to keep some of the money and try to pretend we gave it. What was they doing? They had brought the church in a place of competition. Had the wrong kind of spirit. They had the wrong kind of spirit towards giving. They were doing good things, amen. The only thing they had to do, amen, was come give what they, they didn't have to say they gave it all. But they wanted to be like Barnabas. Because Barnabas had stole the show. We got to be careful, amen, in the church when we want to steal the show. When everything's about us. Ain't nothing important until I hit the stage. I sit there, glory to God, like ain't nothing going on. Is it my time yet? Uh, it's still happening. But anyway, they lost their first love. Tell somebody, glory to God. Hey Amen. The church need to get their first love back. We need to change our priorities. Amen. And we want to be about what? Doing things, amen, to lift up Jesus. Amen. We got to be about, hey, God, this is about you, God. And amen, everything I do and whatever I do, if I do it unto you, you're going to, you're a rewarder of them that what? Diligently seek me. Hallelujah. God, if I come down here to do something, I'm not going to look at nothing that nobody else is doing. I'm going to do whatever I do to the best of my ability. Amen. Glory to God. And that's what I'm going to do. Because what I'm doing, it, I'm doing it unto what? Unto Christ. Ain't going to be mad. Amen. Tell somebody, I'm not going to be mad. Amen. Because, uh, amen. Listen, the more you do for the Lord, the more you will put yourself in a place of reward. Oh, my God. That's why I glory to God. When you serve God without ulterior motives, you're putting yourself in a good place. Huh? I'm going to do it, praise God. I got the strength to do it. Hallelujah. I got the strength to do it. I'm going to just go down there and I'm going to do it. Praise God. I know it gets tough sometimes, but tell me to know sometimes serving God, it gets tough. Sometimes you make sacrifices. Hallelujah. But you're saying, God, I'm doing it because I want the kingdom of God to be what? Glorified. I want the kingdom of God, hallelujah, to be magnified. Somebody got to do it. Glory to God. And if nobody else, amen, don't go down there, hallelujah, it's not going to get done. So, if I, Lord, if I got to be here by myself, I'm going to do it as unto you. Tell somebody it's the right attitude. <sighs> And they lost their first love, man. When you, amen, get to the place that Christ is not Christ-centered, it means that your love is faltered. Hallelujah. It says, in forsaking the original love for Christ, the church of Ephesus had embraced power and control rather than service. In other words, they was looking for power and control rather than service. They was doing things, amen, to do what? So that they can, amen, so that they could gain the power. The more I do, the more power I get. But not in the kingdom. Hallelujah. You know, it looks like, amen, I'm, oh, I'm preaching too good here now. Amen, you got to ask yourself, why am I doing what I want? Do I want everybody, amen, to say, oh, look at Vic. And the more recognition you get, everybody be saying, boy, I tell you what, Sheila just looked like she's so, you know, a lot of people glean that power and control. Hallelujah. Amen. They, they was doing things, praise God, to gain control of certain cliques. Come lift your hands and praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Control. Amen. Uh, if, I can, if I can do enough, amen, to control you, amen, glory to God, I got power. Oh, y'all preaching. Well, hallelujah. 
<laughs> you are not put over uh, 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 auxiliary, amen, glory to God, and, and, and you, 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 you got authority, but you got to know how that it ain't about power, it ain't about control, it's about Christ. And when you leave, amen, glory to God, start looking at it as a, I'm over this auxiliary and I got the power, you need to, amen, reassess why you're doing it. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I want to be over this because what? That means I'm controlling it. No, Jesus is supposed to be in charge. Oh, my God. The Holy Ghost is supposed to be leading. Somebody need to control that, uh, that thermostat over there because it's hot. Hallelujah. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Am, 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 I, am, I, am, I, am I talking okay? Huh? They had lost their first serve. It, was, it won't no longer, amen, about Christ-centeredness. It was about control. It was about what? Power. Amen. And glory to God, you got to ask yourself over and over again, glory to God, am I this because I got, I won't got power, I got authority? My God, my God. And, and they had lost that first love. It won't about, they, it won't enjoy just serving God, amen, just for the sake of serving God. It was about, I'm over this. I'm head of the deacon board. Huh? Title. I'm the apostle. I'm the bishop. When I walk in, glory to God, everybody, amen, stand up. And the church began, well, I, I sure want some of that power, amen. So my objective then, amen, is that I want, I want to reach the top of the pecking order. And I'm going to do everything I possibly can to reach the top of the pecking order. What you done done, amen, you done moved out of the kingdom into the worldly way of war, getting where you want. And the church need to repent, amen, because we've set up pecking order and we got everybody, amen, don't want to serve, but everybody want to get right here behind the pulpit. Huh? This look like the place of power. This look like the place of authority. Oh. Hallelujah. No, 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 Come on. Are, are y'all hearing me? And you lost your first love. You ain't serving for the kingdom no more. You're serving, trying to do what? Get you a position. Get you some power. Get you some money. Oh, the priest is the only one get prayed in the church. So, amen, glory to God. I'm going to become a pastor get me five members. Come on. Hallelujah, amen, glory to God, and bring they bring their tithes, glory to God, hallelujah, amen, that you don't, amen, you don't, amen, glory to God, become a pastor for income. It ain't about trying to get income, amen, it's about bringing, amen, amen, glory to God, pastoring them, watching over their soul, hallelujah, praying over them. Trying to lead them into greener pastures. Huh? Everybody over there, man. <laughs> Get you a briefcase. <laughs> hey, man, ain't no such thing as no calling no more. Just get you a briefcase. And if you can, uh, if you can uh, convince five people, amen, that you got anointed, amen, you a pastor. Uh, we do. We need to repent. We need to repent. How do they both shun We need to repent. Tell us about it. We need a repenting saying. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everybody. Amen. It's about control. And that's why I think God said, man, they're coming together like this in building like this, and everything's about control. Who's over this board? Who's over that board? And amen. So and so and over there. And it ain't about Christ no more. And the more, amen, it looked like I got, the more anointing, amen, it looked like I got. Amen. So what I want to do, I want to portray to you that I got a whole lot so it can look like I'm more anointed. That ain't even the Lord. 
The Bible said the glory to God, amen, there's going to be a time when they're going to say it, godliness, amen, is gain. In other words, the more you got, the more God you got. But the Bible said that's not true. He said godliness with contentment is great gain. I know, amen, they're going to cut me out of the Facebook, but I'll have y'all to preach to. But somebody need to say something. Amen. I, I, I can't take no more of the foolishness. That amen. I know no both shundo la Everybody, amen, trying to make a name for themselves. Everybody trying to, amen. The church folks trying to drop more records than this, the world is. Every time you turn around, they're dropping a new record. Dropping a record, glory. I thought you were supposed to be praising worship leaders. I know no, 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 Every time you turn around, you're trying to get another platform, amen, to go and, 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 and sing some more. Hallelujah. 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 It's about, amen, God, for, test God, forgive us. Forgive us, amen, glory to God, thinking, amen, glory to God. I, you want to, I, somebody prophesy to you and tell you you're going to be famous, say, I rebuke you. Said so God ain't called me to be famous. God called me to be holy. God ain't called me to be no famous. Amen. Every time Jesus, they tried to make Jesus famous, he would slip away sometimes. He said, God didn't call me to be famous. He called me to give my life. Huh? Huh? Hallelujah, prophesying over you. Yeah, you get ready to go, and you get ready to build a big ministry. For who? Is it going to be for you or for Jesus? Huh? That's the foolishness, man. I can't take no more. Tell somebody I'm about to gurgitate. Because while, amen, glory to God, all this going on, amen, glory to God, folks dying in the streets. Amen. Gun violence is getting worse than ever before. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our kids, glory to God. Every one of them. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Taking medicine for mental stress. Huh? While we were out here playing all these games, glory to God. Hallelujah. And amen. All of a sudden, there's no more demons. They mental stress. Huh? Everybody got a mental problem. Yeah. Amen. We put names on it. ADHD and ABCD. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. What's your child got? ABD? How about your CDA? Huh? huh? Amen. And we were out here jumping and shouting and praising God, talking about, oh, God, amen, glory to God, and demons sitting right up beside us. Hallelujah. And still of us, amen, casting out devils, we're telling people to live with their demons. Learn to live with your demons, amen. Learn to operate with your demons. That's what you need to do. Amen. In a word, let your demons sit there right beside you and torment you, and every now and then, glory to God, get you enough medicine to make him, hey, to shut him down. Yeah. Hmm? Hallelujah, when the last time you laid hands on the sick? When the last time, amen, you cast out demons? Y'all don't even know nothing about this. Our young folks don't even know nothing about this. They don't know whether, like they said, they went to one place, they said, we don't know, know whether it be a Holy Ghost or not. Amen. Some of y'all, amen, glory to God, think demon possession ain't real. Some of y'all don't think, glory to God, that the Holy Ghost is real. So while we up here in this church playing games of who's over the deacon board and the usher board and who's up here preaching, amen, demons are out there saying, ha, <laughs> ha. Let them keep playing their game. I'm going to have their children and their children's children. 
amen, until they recognize that they are the church. We are the church. We are the temple of God. The Holy Ghost is in us. He's given us power to overcome, to be witnesses, to take control of our home, to take control of the workplaces in which God has planted us. I don't know about scared, amen, you per, amen. I ain't going off in my job, amen, glory to God, doing, amen. You can find a place to pray. Go in the bathroom, go in a closet, amen, and call it and command them demons to go in Jesus' name. I know the most son, the most. Get there early, glory to God, and walk through the altar and raise your hand and worship and praise God and release anointing in that place. Amen. You grab, amen, a ball of this oil that we believe in and go through your place. Amen. When ain't nobody looking and not the place. And amen, and claim it for the name of Jesus. You doing the same complaining they complaining. Hallelujah. You going in there, the balls this and the balls that. Amen. And still are you recognizing, amen, that, amen, the, the king heart is in God's hand. And he turn it whichever way he will. And the reason I'm here, glory to God, I'm set up just like, amen, Daniel. I'm, I'm, I'm Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. I might be in Babylon, but before I leave here, they going to know Jesus. Hallelujah. You down, amen, amen. Me, Shaq, Shaq, Rock, and Ben, Ben to go. They was there, but they recognized they was on a mission. Hallelujah. And God gave them a big mission messing with old uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar. But, amen, but, amen, Daniel said, glory to God, hallelujah. Amen. I know why I'm here. I know why God anointed me. Oh, uh, Huh? But I, amen. Can y'all take any more? Can y'all, amen. That's why, you, amen, you want to be out in an hour. I know the most shut up, but God, amen. I know, I know. Lord, know I got to get, get to deliver some from some of my idols. I do. Hey, man, I got to, I, I really got to, because I love, no, I got chamber, but I like football. I like sports, but I can't let it become my idol. Huh? I can't allow that, amen, to be the center of my life. Jesus is supposed to be the center of my life. And I know that sometimes, man, I plan, I plan to serve my idol. Y'all ain't saying that. I did, amen, glory to God. I told Sister tonight, Friday. I said, you got to go and make me some sandwich tomorrow. <laughs> hey, man, I want some dip. <laughs> I didn't care nobody came. I was going to sit there, glory to God, amen, and for at least two hours, I was going to serve my idol. Because I love it. So what I had to do, amen, I had to tell the devil, amen, after that game, I said, I ain't looking at another one. I cut it off, amen, glory to God. I said, I ain't looking at another. I tell you what, and I, it was hard, go, so I would go to my phone and, and look at the score. Huh? But I had, I, had to, I, had to, I had to show God something. That he, amen, that, amen, that, that he ain't going to rule my life all day. Huh? Huh? Sometimes, amen, you got to show, amen, glory to God, and you got to make an asserted effort, amen, to let the devil know, no, you ain't winning here. Amen. Uh, yeah, I know God don't mind me having, amen, time, and, uh, and don't mind having me a good time, but he don't supposed to take over everything. He don't supposed to be ruling everything. Hallelujah. I ain't going to give my total day to him. <laughs> Y'all mad with me? No, sir. 
I do it, amen. I can tell you the truth, amen. I, I, I know that them guys throw a turn, they say, Pop, you know you got to know something about football. They throw throwing out their, their stats. I know some too. I know some of them players too. So I have to, amen, you have to bring some balance in your life about this stuff. Because if you don't, amen, glory to God, he'll rule. He, that'll become the center of your life. I told, I told the Lord, amen, I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to get me a series going uh, from... Uh, uh, June the 18th to football season store. I said, I believe I can get them in here. Cause, cause ain't no basketball, ain't no football. <laughs> so if I get them right in that point, amen, glory to God. No, I'm just kidding, God. <laughs> But, but the point is, are y'all reach, am I making a point? You got to make an assertive effort that devil, you are not going to be the center of my life and nor anything else, amen, glory to God. Tell us about nothing else going to be the center of my life but Christ. Amen. Sometimes, amen, glory to God, you got to go, amen, glory to God, and just get on your face and begin to pray, amen, in the midst of it. Because what you're trying to do, amen, glory to God, uh, you, got to com- you got to come to a place of what? Of control yourself. And amen, I love this stuff. Somebody said, Pastor, no, he loved this stuff. But I'm, uh, the point here, I'm trying to make a point here. Somebody lift your hands and praise God. So they were saying, they were saying that here's what was happening. Amen, glory to God. The, the, the church of Ephesus had adopted a theology of hate and anger and means of perpetually it. And, 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 and then they said, that they was busy doing the worldly stuff. The world had became such a, 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 a prop to that, that, man, they couldn't love God like they should because there were so many worldly things that was going on. Man, there are things going on all the time that you just got to limit yourself. Somebody said, bless the Lord. Oh, come on, lift, lift your hands and praise God. You got to, li- I, I know I'm preaching good because Listen, if I don't preach this, listen, Jesus is going to mess around here and show up and somebody ain't going to be ready. I know that about shut up. It behooves me, glory to God, if he come on Super Bowl Sunday. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. I, I was thinking about, suppose he come, amen, the Bible said, uh, I, I was thinking the other day here, and I did. I, I, I think sometimes, and, and I don't want to be religious and honorary in places like that, but uh, 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 on nights sometimes when, uh, when, when it looked like the weather's bad, I'd be wanting to call it off. But that scripture comes and you better pray that Jesus don't come in the wintertime when it's inconvenient. Amen. And, and, and listen, you ain't going to get no props for coming through the storm. But it's the mindset. Did you want to come? Yeah. Amen. It's, it's just soon you see a storm, all of a sudden you say, are we having church? I mean, uh, hey man, you, you don't call down there, glory to God, to the Thunder game and say, are they having the game tonight? <laughs> hey man, you ain't going to call over there, amen, hey glory to God, to an old stadium and say, oh, is the game over? Huh? You be like, man, I don't pay my money, Lord, don't let it be over. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you do whatever it takes to get there. So it's a mindset. And if the church don't change its mindset, and, and, and that leads us, amen, to this second thing, amen, about uh, the church of, of, of Pergamon. 
The church of Pergamon was in a place of, of compromise. Amen. It was like, they was like, this, God ain't really, God ain't like that. That don't really matter to God. Hallelujah. You done made your own version of God instead of studying the scripture to see, amen, how much God treasures fellowship. Huh? Compromise. Well, man, I don't tell you what, praise God. I don't, don't, don't. Listen, and a lot of things, amen, is, is expedient. But everything, amen, ain't right for you. A lot of things, amen, God ain't, listen, amen, uh, I know what the Bible say, amen, a little wine for the stomach, amen, uh, ain't no drink no wine. but amen, glory to God, but, 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 the, but the truth of the matter is, glory to God, I see what, if sin, un, not censored, can lead you in a bad place. I never, amen, forget the pastor, amen, that, amen, that a powerful man of God loved God with all his heart, amen, and, and, and he was so busy trying to do God's work that he couldn't sleep at night. So they diagnosed, said, drink your little wine every night before you go to bed, and it'll help you to sleep. And he did that, and he did that, and he did that, and he drank more. And all of a sudden, amen, he became an alcoholic. And he lost his church. I know him personal. That's his testimony. Hallelujah. He didn't mean, oh, he started off just right. Now, a lot of times, the devil will have you start off right. Huh? And you'll begin to compromise. Amen. Well, it don't matter. Amen. I was, man, drink a little bit more. Amen. Glory to God. Get a little bit more. It helps you. And before long, amen, you are in a place, glory to God, where you don't know how to get out. Huh? And, and sin, amen, glory to God, I take you further than you want to go and keep you longer than you want to stay. Huh? You know, amen, compromise. Girl, uh, I do this, and uh, it don't bother me where it might not bother you, but you don't know my background. You don't know the demons, amen, that I come from. You don't know my family. Don't try to tell me, amen, because you can get away with it, that, amen, it's all right for everybody. Huh? Amen. And, and the only reason you are telling them that because you want to feel justified in why you're doing what you're doing. Are y'all following me? So you, amen, so the church is in a place of compromise Amen. All over the place. We see people doing stuff and they like, well, hey, listen, I understand mercy always trump judgment. Amen. Because if you start to become such judgmental about everything, you're going to bring people into the religion and they're going to rebel. Amen. Mercy always trump. Amen. Glory. But you ought to have some kind of standard. Huh? Amen. Ain't no kind of standard in your house. No kind of standard for your temple. There ought to be certain things that you don't allow in your temple. There ought to be certain things that you don't allow in your house. There ought to allow, amen, glory to God. Amen. If you don't have any kind of. Hallelujah. Standard. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Well, I ain't got nobody, amen, a lot of things ain't wrong with a lot of stuff. But what do the Bible say? The Bible is our role map. Yeah. Amen. We measure what we believe not by what we think and what we feel. We measure it by the Word of God. And the Word of God say this is what it is, this is what it is, and that's how we set our standard. But yet, amen, Lord to God, we don't let what? Judgment be the founder. Mercy always trumps what? Judgment. In other words, praise God, there was certain standards that I had in, in our house. Amen. And just because, amen, I catch old Junior into something, 
I didn't throw him out. <laughs> I was mad with him, but mercy trumped that judgment. Are y'all hearing me? And any time, amen, mercy don't trump mer mer uh, judgment, you got a problem. It's so bad. Girl, uh, and sometimes, well, you at my house and this is my house and if you ain't in, out. Then where, where they going? Mercy then pros to trump what? Judgment. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. There's times, praise God, because God always mercy trumps judgment in your life. There's a lot of things that you could have been judged by, amen, but how, what God does, he shows mercy. Huh? He shows mercy. And, and he keep on showing mercy. Because, amen, glory to God, he be telling you, no, that ain't how it is. That ain't how it is. Amen. That ain't what you're supposed to be doing. But for some way or another, he keeps showing mercy. Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. Huh? You ain't going to do nothing. Amen. I, on the, uh, it, it makes me upset sometimes on the, uh, this uh, TV show, uh, Criminal Mind. They always make it seem like the reason that child is like that because some religious guy, And, and a lot of times, because I noticed that judgment trumped at mercy. Huh? When you, amen, is so caught to try to get your standard cross, amen, that you do what? Amen, that love and mercy is not there. Then you move out of God's arena. Oh, my. That was good right there. Huh? And that's when, amen, children begin to, begin to do what? They begin to rebel. They go in a shell. Hallelujah. And, and they think that, man, they come out, that's the way God is? And they begin to see God as a judgmental God and not a God of mercy. Oh. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Are y'all here for me? Well, I'm through. I didn't get through the compromise today because I got... But I said, God, amen, I got to stop. I got to know, amen, and at least I'm going to let them know that we did this psychology class. In psychology, amen, we were talking about different things. They said compromise is, I thought compromise was win-win, but compromise is lose-lose because nobody gets what they want. You, you just kind of like, ah, I settled. When there was something better, you wanted, but you said, I just settled for this. You never get God's best through separate, through, what? through compromising. Huh? You just settle for what is available. That's why, praise God, that's why you got to store with who? Your own temple. If you stop, amen, listen, if you, amen, stop compromising your temple, you will grow for folks, amen, oh, to your temple. Hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. Now, how many have mercy on themselves? How many forgive themselves? So you, they, you need to start with your own temple. Lord, I am the temple of God. The Holy Ghost is in me. My God. Here's what I want to do, my, my, my assignment today. Praise God. My assignment to today, amen, for the saints of God is to uh, uh, every uh, family here, every man that got a wife or children here, what I want them to do, uh, I want you to come and I want you to get... Uh, your, your family, and I want y'all to do communion back there together. That's just your sign. Bring that up there. Amen. We're going to have y'all to have uh, communion. So if your family like you, amen, she, uh, sister hanging out with you, 
if she's hanging out with you, you have communion with you and your wife. And I want you, amen, to have communion with them. I want you to uh, tell them just like you've seen it happen in church. Amen. That this is his body which is broken for you. Amen. Glory to God. And I want, if you're not here, if you don't have a, a, a wife or somebody here, praise God, I want you to go and get beside somebody and say, we're going to have communion together today. Praise God. You and I want you to grab somebody right now and you decide who you're going to have communion with. If you've got, if you're a, uh, a, 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 a husband, I want you and your family, amen, to have uh, communion together. But whoever else, I want you to go, go get somebody. If you see somebody and got a family member, go and get with them. Amen. You're going to have communion with your son, those, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, come on, get your, come on, get your, uh, your substance. I want y'all to, amen, glory to God. What I'm trying to do, I want y'all to start uh, having uh, communions, amen. Amen. Go there, and when you get back, I want you to say, just like you hear me say here, amen, glory to God. This is my body, which is, this is Christ's body, which is broken for you. Take your eat of it, amen. All the family, amen, glory to God. Get all your family, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You can bring it. You can get back there and do it. You can just get enough for everybody. Amen. Son, and you can take them. Amen. And you can, you can, if they don't have, praise him. Come on, worship. Let's worship. This is worship. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, amen. Let's not get out of worship. I want to, I want you to stay in worship. This is worship.